country and its budget and its confidence and its future cannot revolve around okay. the flagpole of Tony Abbott's job aspirations. Do you, as Labor leader, accept any responsibility for the problems with the deficit? I believe that Labor uh, does have a role to put forward positive alternatives. No, 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 no. In the size of the deficit you delivered to this government. No, the government's in charge. They're the ones yeah, who but said did, that... did you impose part of the problem on them? Oh, when the government proposes to introduce a GP tax and we say no, and then the government blames us for not legislating unfairness, when the government... Do you know, all of last but year... what deficit did they inherit when they won power? Ah, uh, 16 $17 billion. So you wear responsibility for that? Well, first of all, uh, you've asked two questions in a row. I'm determined to answer your first one first. <laughs> when you talk about responsibility... <laughs> How is it, and, the, and, and for a whole year, you know, you'd have Liberal ministers on your show saying, we're not cutting the pension. I know they were lying. Pensioners knew they were lying. Now they've dropped their cuts to the pension. There's not any atonement. It's as if these guys okay. just... Well, you know, that's, when that's you not answering my question. Well, that, no, that, that's answering your first question. <laughs> I don't accept responsibility for stupid un ideas put forward by a government which are unfair and broken promises. Now... We accept but that the wasn't the question. The question was whether you accepted some responsibility for the size of the deficit that this government inherited and continues to be a problem. We accept that we have a role to play to get the budget in the medium term back to trajectory. That's not the question either. Well, no, judge us not by our words but by our actions. I'm, I'm judging you by your actions in the size of the deficit you delivered to this government when they took over and that deficit continues to be a problem. Is that partly the responsibility of the Labor Party? The responsibility that I accept is to tackle the deficit. I'm the leader of the opposition now. And so what I've done is we've ripped up the political rule book. We put forward two major costed policies. One, to get foreign multinationals to pay their fair share of tax in Australia. Yeah. And it's proposed under our measures, which do fit up with best practice tax guidelines worldwide, we proposed to save $7 billion extra off these multinationals. We've also proposed on superannuation, and this is where the government are very, very cheeky and mischievous. They say that because we want to lower the tax concession that a multimillionaire receives okay. on millions of dollars of super from a 45-cent concession to a 30-cent concession. But, but, Mr Shorten, this goes to your credibility because the, you know there's a perception Labor runs up big deficits, Conservative governments try to address it. Now, you can debate that or not. The point is, is there any responsibility sitting in the hands of the Labor Party for the problems we now have with deficits? We accept the responsibility of reducing the deficit. We're, we're here not for answering work. the question. Well, you're asking what responsibility we have. No, I'm have. asking what responsibility you have in the size of the deficit that exists now in that was inherited by this government. I accept the responsibility of reducing the deficit. Okay. I accept the responsibility of coming up with cost of policies. Neil, I can, you know, you say, well, you know, that's not the answer you want to hear. No, it's but, not answering the question. Well, that's the answer, it. I'll tell you what Australians want to hear. They want to hear, what's your plan to do something? It's politics, isn't it? I think they want to hear a bit of straight talk, and they want to hear if there's any responsibility on your hands for the size of the deficit we now face. I'm up for the task of reducing the deficit. I take that responsibility. I'm here to do the work. Last night's budget was a grave disappointment and a missed opportunity. You know, the government says that they're going to raise $30 million from multinationals. We say $7 billion. Yeah. We think, and Neil, you, surely you must agree, that the idea that someone who's got 5 or $10 million in super, who can earn interest even on a 5% return per annum on the earnings, quarter of a million, half a million dollars, interest amounts we will never receive, none of our listeners ever will. Why is it that the Abbott government will fight to the death to stop some people, a very fortunate few, who were already comfortable. Why is it they'll fight to taxpayers to give them more concessions, yet they're obsessed about family payments to people on $60,000 a year? They fought for a year to cut pensions. And let's be straight, if Labor Party hadn't stood up on pensions, those cuts would be in. Thank you very much for your time. All right, Neil. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Cheers.